Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to do another review of a brand new product on the market, the Homelike Shaving Start Safety Razor. Let's get started. Okay, we are all lathered up. Now for today's shave, I am using the Rocky Mountain Barber Company Spearmint. And yes, there's a little ding up here. It's not for me, it was actually shipped this way, sorry guys. But it was shipped this way to us. Got a little damaged in, in transit. Um, it's lathering great. It feels nice so far. I hope it stays that way. And if it doesn't, I'll tell you why. <laughs> um, but yes, they also sent us um, this other one, Cedar Spice. But we are using the spearmint today. Lather nicely. It's got, I always, I always like to do this, guys. You know, it's got that nice cush, a nice cushion. And it's got some good peaks to it. It was pretty easy to make a lather. So, and they're made in Canada. Um, all natural ingredients, you know, good stuff. So pretty happy with the lather performance. I uh, used my Simpsons Berkeley brush, of course. And I put the Parasa pre-shave underneath. Now we're gonna get loaded up with this new razor from Home Like Shaving, and it's called the Start. And it comes in this cool little travel presentation kind of case. It actually has four plates. It has three solid guard and one open comb. And the different gaps are right here. You can see uh, 0.69, 0.90. Uh, 0.90 open comb and 0.118 solid guard. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use all four. Um, other cool thing is it comes with this little card that's apparently like a lifetime warranty, so that's good. And it is made in Russia, so you're seeing all this, um, what do they call it? Acrylic, I think it's called, acrylic writing. Uh, that apparently says start. To me, it looks like CT star PT, but hey. I don't speak Russian. Um, anywho, beautiful 304 stainless steel machined parts. I'm going to grab the smallest blade gap, which is 0.69 to start with. We're going to use a Paul Silver blade that has one shave on it. And load up here. Simple three-piece design. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It did come with this little tiny nylon washer. And I think the point of this nylon washer is to prevent scratching as you're cranking down the handle against the other handle or the other base plate. Easy. Easy like a Sunday morning. Uh, fairly close. I would compare this to a tech razor with this first blade gap of 0.69. Another cool couple things is it is zero numbered on the bottom. So this is number 0302. So they are doing a serial numbering system, and that's it's laser engraved, so that's kind of a nice feature. Um, before I get much further along, I'm going to just immediately switch out to the next base plate up in the hierarchy of blade gap, which is 0 .90. And just one other quick thing, they're using a very similar style uh, cap as we use with the Rex Ambassador. And um, you know, a lot of people use this as like a tech style, as I call it, Gillette Tech these two tabs here and corresponding tabs on the base plate. So um, everyone, I always tell people there's, there's hardly anything original under the sun. Um, a lot of these companies are imitating other companies or famous razors from history and you know, that's fine. I actually really like that one. That one to me is is a nice setting. I would I would describe this as more of like a red tip or maybe a, a adjustable fat boy on a higher setting, medium to high setting, I guess. Now 
Very nice, very smooth. Now before I get too much further along on my cheeks, I'm gonna, again, we're gonna do a little pit crew here and just switch out one more time. Uh, we're gonna switch out to the open comb. Now this has the same blade gap, the .90 gap, but it's a open comb. I'll figure my little nylon washer here. And I guess the idea with an open comb razor, as you guys know, is that it ends up letting more whiskers kind of through. So it can um, get a closer shave. Now let's see if that really feels much different than over here. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe just slightly more close. So I, I guess the open comb does make a difference here. Um, I always say I guess just because people associate open comb with aggressiveness where really the blade gap and the blade angle is really what's determining most of that. But certainly when you have two blade gap plates that are identical, a solid bar and a open comb, you'll probably get, like I just experienced, a very slightly more uh, close shave with the comb. Now, there's one more plate in here, and I am going to grab it out. And I wanted to show you this. We got the other ones out earlier, but my only, my only dig on this so far, and it's not that big of a dig, is it's just really hard to get these base plates out. And I don't have any other tool around. My fingers are too big to get it out. I literally am having to take the handle, and I know it's horrible, guys, it's sacrilege, and basically pry it out. So I like to be honest with my reviews. I don't like to just sugarcoat everything. That's my, that's a packaging kind of uh, issue and it's not hard to correct, but I do think that for the lay person, if you're sitting in a hotel or you're in a bathroom and you don't want to have to go out to get a small little chopstick or something made of wood that you're going to pry it out with, or unless you have really small fingers, I just, I couldn't get that out. Now this is the most aggressive one. I'm actually, I'm a little scared to try this. This is point, sorry, 1.18. I'm just going to try it on my cheeks up here. That one I can certainly feel the blade a lot more. And I actually don't even think that... No? It's, it's not bad. It's not like it's horribly aggressive or peeling my face off. It's nice. I, I just, I, I'm feeling myself having to go a lot slower with it because I'm, I just feel the blade a lot more. So I'm actually going to go back to, which was my favorite so far, which is the 0 .90 solid bar. That one I was feeling very comfortable that it was able to move around quickly and efficiently and um, it was providing close, uh, uh, you know, nice, close, comfortable shave. I've got a lot of comments about the goatee. I just, I don't, I don't get this whole obsession with why people think I can't have a goatee if I'm doing sh wet shaving. That's just silly. Um, you know, I like having a goatee. My face, <laughs> I, think, I think my face is, looks a little nicer with a goatee. Whenever I shave, I always look so naked. Um, so, sorry, <laughs> but I will tell you, I am considering doing something for, um, November. That is coming up. We're shooting this video today. It's, it's towards the end of October. Um, I, I think we're actually going to post this video quite soon because this is a razor that a lot of other people are reviewing right now. And I want to make sure the review comes out. But normally guys, you're usually seeing my videos almost two, three, four weeks after I shoot them. Just because we have such a backlog of videos. I mean, we only put out, you know, two or three videos a week and we shoot more than that every week. So we always have uh, an excess, but I may move up the schedule for November and do a, um, a total shave off. And then we're going to let the hair grow out over the course of uh, November and for, you know, prostate awareness. And we'll really see the beastly Matt Pisarsic here. 
But back to this razor, so home-like shaving is a YouTube channel, and I'm pretty sure that the, the owner of the YouTube channel um, decided that he wanted to make a line of products, which that's great. I fully support that. That's awesome. And um, I think he partnered with a manufacturing company in Russia and designed these and is making them. That's great. And I, I think his intention is to get into the U.S. market. Obviously, he sent this to a couple other YouTubers here in the USA and a couple overseas. I know, um, know a couple guys in Europe that got him as well. So, yeah, it's, it's nicely made. 304 stainless. It's got some good weight and heft to it. Uh, it just it feels nice in the hand. I like, I like it. I think the neural... The Nero looks visually nice. To me, I wish it was a little more grippy. I don't think by any means it'll quote unquote slip out of your hands, but I definitely think that the control angle, it's, it's good, but I'm feeling it moving just a little bit in my, in my fingers. I'm not, I'm not death gripping down. I like to hold it gingerly, you know, and it's just moving a little bit in my hands. But I certainly like the, the look of it. I think it's a, it's a beautiful, simple, geometric pattern. And I understand what he's going for. But again, I like to be honest with you guys. I think that's one of the reasons why my reviews have, have done well and our YouTube channel does pretty well is that I don't just sugarcoat stuff. I try to tell you, at, you know, how it is. In fact, I'm going to tell you... Another thing how it is here now I'm finishing up. So the Spearmint um, from Rocky Mountain Barber Company has done great. I I'm, I'm, have, a, have a nice feeling on my face, a good sensation. It was lathering very easily, has a good comfort, slickness, you know, all the other variables. I'll give it, you know, thumbs up, good marks on. I even like the packaging, like the branding, colors, the scent, everything's nice. Uh, but again, my job is to try to be honest with you guys. Uh, we actually did another shave two days ago with the cedar and spice, and this I was also using the start razor, um, and we ended up having to kind of cut the video out because I had a reaction to this. And it's not a dig on the company per se, but I, I was looking at the ingredient list, and there's a cinnamon leaf oil, and that's my only thought is that um, I just had a really red flush... Uh, redness kind of puffiness starting to occur and I eat cinnamon I love cinnamon applesauce um, you know cinnamon on lots of different foods and desserts and stuff never had an issue with ingesting it but maybe that's not my only thought is it putting it topically on my face it had a reaction I'm also seeing I just wanted to comment on this I've I've used a lot of shaving products over the years I'm actually seeing a little redness in my cheeks here I'm not sure if you are noticing that so I think that the cedar and spice soap, uh, the cinnamon of it, is maybe having a little reaction here. Um, again, it's not a dig on the company. I just think that I've never had a reaction to any soap I've tried here or at home like that, where it was kind of a red flush puffiness. And it took about half an hour, maybe almost an hour to go fully away. Um, so I just wanted to make that note. Again, I really like to spearmint. It's, it's great. I'm having no issues. Everything looks good. So. Um, anyone out there who has an allergy issue or maybe has, has had reactions with stuff, let me know if you've heard of that. Is cinnamon leaf oil something that people can have a reaction from? And again, I'm not trying to dig on the company. I just, I'm an honest reviewer. They sent it to me and that's, that's part of the game is if you get a review, I just want to be honest about it. Okay, finishing up here, a little Parasso. Um, liquid cream, balm, oh, gosh, I just, I just want to do this. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a massage on my face. I just absolutely love these liquidy balms. I just feel, especially now it's winter time, uh, your skin starts to get a little dry, you know, the, the weather starts changing, and putting a nice 
kind of liquid balm, aftershave, lotion on your face is such a pleasurable experience after, after a comfortable shave. So the start, razor from home-like shaving, perform great. My favorite plate here was the Solid Bar 0.90. That's not really a big surprise. I think most of you guys know I like more of the, you know, um, what do you call it? Goldilocks kind of razor where it's not too aggressive, not too mild, somewhere in the middle in this 0.90 did it. Again, I, I successfully used the highest end one, the, uh, the 1.18. 1 I just felt like uh, it was for me and my beard, my skin, a little bit more aggressive than I really needed it to be. I'm really impressed with the machining and I, I like um, I like the design, I like the weight, the length, everything about it. I like that it has these different plates. I think it's a really great value. I believe the US price for just one plate is like, I think like $70 or $75 US. And I think if you buy all of them, it's like 175. So it's a good value too for stainless steel, 304 milled. This is, this is really nice. Um, but I did have two kind of notes that maybe would not be Thumbs up, they'd be kind of neutral, uh, or maybe even a slight down. And that would be the packaging. Sorry, I had a random stray hair. The packaging, uh, the, the base plates were just a little bit difficult to get out. And the, the handle, again, I love the beauty of it. I love the, the design of it. But the fact that it just feels a little bit slippery. Um, and, and as I was using it, it started to get slick, that it kind of just moved a little bit in my hands. Um, I like a really grippy handle. If you guys have seen our Rex Ambassador, I love a grippy handle or like the Red Tip Super Speed or the Fat Boy that is just kind of bomb proof as I call it or Edwin Jagger, the laser cut, I love. So many handles are great. Um, that's not a necessary dig, it's just something to be aware of. So I've been blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. My shave's complete, I'm feeling great, uh, awesome. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have a comment about the soap or about cinnamon leaf oil or about home life shaving and the start razor uh, please leave a comment below if you do leave a comment you're interested in to win this our official razor emporium black and blue t-shirt um, that's all i got please subscribe to our channel like this video share it with your friends hit that bell to notify you every time we come out with a new video and i'll see you next time at razor emporium for all things vintage shaving thanks guys